Hello and welcome everyone. So as we continue with basics of immunology today, we'll discuss about antigenic determinants as you can see. Let's proceed. The specific learning objectives of today's lecture is what are the antigenic determinants, types of antigenic determinants. Let's continue. So the first question that we will address today is what is antigenic determinant that are present on immunoglobulins. So let's define that first. The antigenic determinants are actually epitopes that are present on immunoglobulins. And these molecules are glycoproteins in nature as you know and therefore the immunoglobulins can function as very potent antigens inside another human being. So every immunoglobulin has these epitopes on them and these epitopes are known as antigenic determinants. So I hope now it's clear to you what is an antigenic determinant. So now we will discuss about the different types of antigenic determinants. The antigenic determinants are of three major types, the isotype, allotype and idiotype. We shall discuss each of these. So let's discuss the first type of antigenic determinant known as the isotypes. Antibody isotypes are the same thing as antibody classes. There are five major classes of isotypes or immunoglobulins as you know immunoglobulin M, D, G, E and A. The location of these isotypes are in the constant region of heavy chain and light chain. So this is the constant region of heavy chain and this is the constant region of light chain. Within a species every normal individual will express all the isotypes in the serum and different species inherit different isotypes. Therefore, when an antibody from one species is injected into another species, the isotypic determinant will be recognized as foreign and that will induce an antibody in response to the isotypic determinant present on the foreign antibody. So this is the immunoglobulin molecule which has a constant region and variable region. It has an antigen binding site in the variable region. This immunoglobulin molecule is produced by plasma B cells. A plasma B cell is capable of producing five different classes of immunoglobulins and these five different classes are possible because of some genes present in our chromosomes. So, uh, the chromosome that uh, makes immun different immunoglobulins has two regions that is the variable domain gene region and the constant domain genes. And these regions are lying in the constant domain genes produce five different classes of immunoglobulins as you can see here. Each of these different classes of immunoglobulins have different functions which we will see in the next slide. The functions of five isotypes that are present in human beings are being discussed in this slide. Uh, the first immunoglobulin that we discuss is immunoglobulin G which can cross the placenta from mother to child and it provides immunity to the newborn. Immunoglobulin A is found in secretions and therefore it protect, protects the GI tract, it protects the respiratory tract and it is also found in breast milk so it protects the newborn from various infections. Immunoglobulin M and G are capable of activating the classical complement pathway whereas immunoglobulin E is responsible for allergic reactions and anaphylactic reactions. So the second type of antigenic determinants are known as the allotype. Allotype antigenic determinants are specified by the allelic forms of immunoglobulin genes. The location of these allotypes are in the constant region of heavy chain and light chain 
so they lie in the fc region of the immunoglobulin take a look at the human allotypes now human allotypes have been seen within immunoglobulin g a and the kappa light chain constant region so please remember that the constant region has the allotypes and these are found only in immunoglobulin g a and the kappa light chain only one form will be seen in one person example the gm groups of immunoglobulin g molecule we will take a look at the examples now there are at least 25 different immunoglobulin gm allotypes that have been identified they are designated as g1 m1 g2 m2 23 g3 m11 and g4 m4 a these are some examples of immunoglobulin g allotypes here g stands for the immunoglobulin class one stands for the, uh, the or the number after that stands for subclass m is for marker and the number in the bracket are the alleles indicate the allele number immunoglobulin a2 subclass have allotypes that are a2 m1 and a2 m2 whereas the kappa light chain has three allotypes km1 km2 and km3 so these are the immunoglobulin subclasses and there are various alleles for these subclasses that are present that we inherit from our parents now let's see what are anti allotype allotype antibody antibodies that are directed towards allotypic determinants are called anti allotype antibodies these are produced by injecting antibodies from one member of a species into another member of the same species with different allotypic determinants application of anti allotypic antibody is seen during blood transfusion here we will take an example from human beings so this is a picture that shows person 1 and person 2 the blood is being transfused from person 1 to person 2 now the person 1 has immunoglobulin g1 allotype and this allotype is being recognized as foreign in person 2 due to different allotypic determinants and because of this difference in allotypic determinant the person 2 will produce anti g1 antibody this anti g1 antibody is against the immunoglobulin g1 and therefore it will go and bind to the immunoglobulin g1 this is an example of anti allotypic antibody so the third and the final type of antigenic determinant known is the idiotypes idiotypes are antibodies that recognize different specific epitopes these idiotypes are unique antigenic determinants that are present on variable heavy chain and variable light region of individual antibody molecule so this is the variable region of light chain and this is the variable region of heavy chain these are antigenic determinants the now let us take a look at what are anti idiotype antibodies the anti idiotype antibody is produced by injecting antibodies that have minimal variation in isotype so that the idiotype difference can be recognized the anti idiotype vaccines are antibodies directed against variable region of pathological antibodies they have been used in the treatment of b cell lymphomas these are my references for the lecture thank you for watching like comment and share don't forget to hit the bell icon